and this is going to be a part two video on how to retrieve the data from your Switch 1 to your new Switch 2 if you transferred your data via the server online on the cloud. Now, I did a video previously showing that process, and this is a method that you do if you want to transfer your data and you know you're not going to have your Switch 1 when you get your Switch 2. For example, if you sell your Switch 1. Now on this channel, there's another tutorial that shows you how to do a local transfer direct from Switch 1 to Switch 2. But this is if you're doing the transfer online. So I'm going to assume you've already done part 1 and transferred your data to the server. So now we're going to set up our Switch 2 and download that data. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go on English, Americas, accept, next. Connect to the internet, about to download update data. Make sure you're connected to the power. Press next. Choose your time zone. For me, it's Los Angeles. We're going to skip through all the first setup prompts and get straight to where it says here, update. So ready to update the system, press update. All right, you'll see the switch to restart. The screen will go black for a minute. Don't press anything. Let it restart. And there we go. System update complete. Press OK. Then we're going to go to start system transfer. And then a note, if you have a micro SD express memory card, insert it now. Only micro SD express cards, which feature the marks shown in this image, express and EX are supported. Other SD cards won't work. All right, we're gonna go ahead and skip that. All right, we're gonna sign into our Nintendo account. All right, signed in, press OK. And again, if you've already done step one, you should get this prompt here that says it found uploaded data on the server. And it'll show you your switch one, press download data. It's going to send you an email with the verification code. Go ahead and put that in there now. And then it's going to start downloading your data. Now, depending on your internet and how much data, this can take some time. So just be patient. It'll say the system is about to restart and then it'll restart. Make sure you don't disconnect the power. Don't mess with anything on the switch. It'll kick back in and then show you that it's at its final stages. Almost done with the progress bar. Just continue waiting until that finishes up. When it's done, you'll see system transfer complete. Downloadable software will be downloaded later. Press OK. The theme color from the source system will be carried over. Press OK. Setup complete. Click on the home button. And there we go. We're on the switch too. And everything is as it was on the previous switch. And that's how simple it is to retrieve the data that you transferred from your switch one to the server. Now on this channel, I do have a gaming playlist with a lot more tutorials for the Nintendo switch, switch two and other consoles. So feel free to check that out. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.